Alright, let's talk about Tablet. Now this was my first time making Tablet, and I think it did a pretty good job. So my goal here is to show you that you know, if I can achieve these reasonably decent results in my first go around, you could probably do the same. Now Tablet and Fudge sometimes get confused, but as you can see, Tablet is quite solid when prepared. Fudge is going to be a lot softer than this, and Tablet is also quite a grainy mouthfeel to it, but that's just because of all the sugar, and it is nothing but sugar. Okay, fine, there's also some milk involved, so let's get into that. So we have 125 grams of my least pronounceable word, butter, a cup of full-fat milk, blue top we would call it, at the back here we have a whole kilogram of granulated sugar, which is a ridiculous amount, and a full tin of condensed milk, 400 grams, but usually these days are 397. I don't know why. Get yourself a nice tray with some baking paper and get your pot on and let's get started. Gonna need something with a nice heavy base that can stand up to a lot of heat. I mean, non-stick is not gonna do the job here at all, so don't even think of it. Now, toss in the butter and let's get it melted. We're just looking to do this over a low heat until it fully melts like this. Just keep it moving around to make sure it doesn't burn at this early stage or you'll ruin the entire thing. Now add the sugar into the pot as well, now that the butter is fully melted. It's going to look pretty ridiculous like this. The important thing is not to panic and realize that you're going to add in the other ingredients as well, you know, such as the milk here. Just be careful not to spill any like I'm probably about to do. But just adding the milk into the melted butter alone should be enough to stir everything together and fully mix in the sugar. It doesn't look like it initially at the beginning, but just have a little patience and everything will work out fine, I promise you. Because even that edit was only 15 seconds of footage I cut out before it all dissolved, so it's all good. But once that's all dissolved, it is time to add in the whole tin of condensed milk. It's very sticky, you might need a spoon or something like I'm using just to try and scrape as much as possible out of the tin before I slowly realise that maybe a knife actually works a little bit better than a spoon. But at this point we're going to turn the heat up a little bit and bring it to a boil just very slowly, we don't want to rush it there because once it gets to the boiling point we're going to turn it all down again anyway. And mine reach boiling temperature very very quickly, basically within about a minute or two. Um, my only advice at this stage is to try and stir a little bit more than I did. I did stir occasionally, but I think I was a little bit shy about over stirring it, I don't know why. My advice is to stir it more often than you think you need to. All that happened is I had a couple of burnt bits in mind you'll see when I'm pouring it out. I had to move it onto the back burner at the cooker here, so forgive the angle change, but this is the consistency I kept at simmering away for around 20 minutes and you'll see the change in the colour in about now. So, usual safety warning when you're stirring molten, burning hot sugar like this, just please be careful. You want to try and get some movement in there just to move everything around, but for God's sake, don't splash molten tablet in yourself. And now we come to the judgement intuition section of the recipe. Well, let's talk about softballing. So this is the stage you want to get the tablet to, so that you know that it's ready. You're going to take just a little teaspoon, fraction of a teaspoon of the mixture and put it into some water which you've cooled down with some ice cubes. The goal here is that if you dump it into the ice water, you should be able to pick it up and move it around in your fingers and it's got some solidity to it. Kind of you'll see how I'm doing here. Like, it's not sticking to my fingers and it's set instantly in the cold water. And now time for the effort portion of the recipe. Set a timer for five minutes, take it off the heat, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir. You'll see some of those darker pieces I was talking about that I perhaps let form because I didn't stir often enough early in the process, but it didn't affect the final taste of the product. Don't stir it for longer than five minutes. You risk the sugar crystallizing and the whole thing separating once you pour it out. But that was why I wanted to get the tray that you see to the right ready and to get everything else prepared because once this process starts, you can't really stop it. Anyway, I think we've seen enough of me stirring at 500% speed. And when it comes to pouring, you get two choices here. You can do like I did and try and scrape as much or as many of those tiny little pieces and everything stuck to the side of the pot as possible. 
it's not going to be a clean result on top but if you just say stop pouring like I do here then you're going to get the nice even top to be honest aesthetics isn't really what this dish is about but you can still add some lines onto the top to make it easier to cut further down the line it's going to set very quickly so just keep an eye on it and decide when to run a knife through it but even at this point as you can see here it's not ready what I did was cover it with another baking tray and I left it sitting overnight. It's fine to leave sitting at room temperature and everything, no issues there, but you don't want to leave it exposed to the elements, it'll just attract all the dust and hair in your house. And this is how it turned out the next day in the much brighter light, as you can tell. It's a little bit scraggly and a little bit uneven on top, but to be honest that didn't really affect the final result, and what I did was slice it up anyway. It was a little softer than I was expecting, so that told me I could have maybe went a little bit longer with the cooking, but in terms of a first time result and the first time I ever made it, yeah, it was delicious. The, the flavour was right, nothing was ruined in it. It was demolished by me basically within like three or four days. I regret nothing other than that I didn't make more. If you are presenting it to other people, you can cut off all the ugly pieces of the edge like I did call those chef snacks as you can see I'm doing here and all the nice symmetrical pieces you can cut those up and serve them on a plate wherever you want. Around these parts at weddings it's very traditional at the end where if you're getting tea or coffee served after the meal they'll randomly a piece of tablet on the plate. That's a good way to serve it is with coffee. And it's a frequent prize that people give out in raffles and bake sales and everything else as well. It's Everyone has their own twists on it. You know, some people add extra flavours to it, like vanilla essence. I've seen some people add nuts to it and things as well. And, you know, it does work. But it's easily made with four simple ingredients. You don't need the thermometer to test the softball. And it's really nice. So give it a try yourself and let me know how you get on. See you next time.